guys, this is Lucy Polgar from Last Bastion, sponsored by Fight Division. I'm here with Lyndon King Arthur. Still love that name every time I hear it. Um, congratulations, it's been a bit of a madam for you tonight. So you've got the win, but obviously the situation behind the win is, um, you know, very different to what I was expecting. So not the title fight. How are you feeling? No. Right now. I feel tired. Tired? I'm tired now. <laughs> Were you feeling conflicted with the win, as in obviously celebrating because it's a win, but conflicted because it's not the title? Does does that sting? It would have been it would, uh, obviously my mindset for the past ten weeks, whatever it's been, has been fighting for that title and fighting a completely different guy, and it's just it was a bit deflating yesterday, and you have to just kind of pick yourself up and and and, and, and move on with it, kind of thing. So yeah, of course. So we just uh, managed to grab your coach for a chat as well, uh, and he was saying he think it took you maybe a couple of rounds to warm up because you might have felt a bit deflated, like thought the guy wasn't, you know, was maybe a bit slower and and maybe it took you a couple of rounds to warm up to him um, before you sort of switched on and, and nailed that backhand. So do you agree with that? Yeah, most definitely. I, yeah. Again, me and, me and, me and um, Boris have sparred a few times so we kind of know each other. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just... I say, a bit deflated. Yeah. I, did, I saw you before it. I come over and said hello, and you looked so chill. I was like, "You all right?" And he was like, "Yeah." So you did seem like really relaxed before it. Was I'm that always, just? I'm always that like anyway. I'm always relaxed, but probably a bit too relaxed today. Yeah. And yeah. um, one thing that I, I was saying to Pat that I really love is that his mindset is always very much like, "I'm not talking about the last fight. I'm not talking about the next fight. I'm not talking about anything apart from this one." So does having a coach who has that mindset like help? Because it's not like you don't have to constantly think about what's happening in the past or what's coming next it's just focused on Friday Pat's a good Pat's a good coach to have around anyway because he's been there he's been, he's been in, the, in, the, in the rough of boxing um, fighting for world titles and being British and European champion etc he's, he's been through what I'm going through now so it's always good to have somebody with experience in your corner like Pat so it's, it's all good yeah there's um, a real deep different kind of bond between you and Pat as well isn't there between it's not just hate relationship <laughs> I hate him. Do you know what? I seen a I seen a dead funny video where you was at the gym and you were basically saying you was just like proper ripping into him, saying that he's gonna have a four round spa, that you're living rent free in his head. He said you got a penthouse rent free in his head. And do you know what? To be fair, he walked off in a huff and it feel like it felt like you were right. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so so has that four round spa happened yet? No, we you mad, you know what we do It'd be silly for Pat to do that. <laughs> No, I was loving that, and you could tell you was actually in his head rent free. I found that really, really funny. Um, but yeah, he has been more like it's more like a family vibe between you two. It's not just fighter and coach, is it? Yeah, I mean, I've been with Pat since well, obviously I grew up. Pat was probably probably Pat has been there since I was zero age, yeah. zero born. So one of his on the documentary, Pat when he goes to America, I'm in the airport with him before he goes. Yeah. That's how long. That's how long I've been like around Pat. Yeah. So you know it's. So I asked him this question. I said, "Do you think sometimes because you are so close, does that help or hinder being your coach?" Probably hinders. Probably yeah, both. Better both. Said the same. Yeah, he said the, literally both. the exact. He started with probably hinder. Actually, no both. So like literally. Because I'm like because like, Pat's a scary person, but yeah, I'm not scared of him because you know, he can't do nothing to me. Kind of thing. I'm, I'm family. <laughs> you what? You're gonna shower me? <laughs> Is that kind of thing. So. But yeah, no, it, it, it worked both hand in hand. It's, 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 good. it's a good yeah. relationship. I love that. Like, you can see it's, it's very genuine as well. Um, one thing I wanted to touch on, you've got a tattoo that says everyone's got the same 24 hours, and I noticed that, and I just thought, that's so cool. No, I think that's I dead think cool. May, Molly, listen, I, listen, no, 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 it, it, no, the Molly May thing. I got this before Molly May even said so, it. Just putting it out there. He's like, actually got air quotes, I, and it says I Molly May I got that tattoo it. before Molly May even come out with it, yeah. He's, he's quoted a name under it. I said it, yeah. <laughs> No, Molly made quotations aside, I think that's where he got it from, but <laughs> aside from that, I actually do think that is a really good mindset and I think that it's it's putting the accountability back on you, like no matter what happens, you seem very much like this is on me. So do you think that's helped you get as far as you've got so far in your career? Yeah, I just, I just like no matter what no matter what happens, you just you just plod on in it. Like, yeah. you just you just plod on through life and what will be will be. You just gotta make the most of, of your situation at the time and uh, what, 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 I believe what, what's set out for path, your path is set out and that's just it. Yeah, so absolutely. what's going to, uh, what's going to be will be, that's it. There's no, there's no, there's no changing. Yeah. You've also said in the past that you, you don't sort of relate to people. I don't understand when like people are just bothered by like really small, stupid things, which to you, you just think like, like down with it kind of thing. Yeah. So I think obviously but that's in, in. But that's, but that's, a, that's, that's a pro and a con. 
because in some situations I should be bothered about. Oh yeah, of course. But I mean, like in boxing, that must be oh, yeah, a yeah. real pro, as in like you know the the little things that some fighters might go home and overthink on, or like a, an oh, interview yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. it must be a, a strength in the profession. And yeah, maybe a con in yeah. some personal situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah? most definitely. Most yeah. definitely. Um, so obviously. Pat is very much like what's in the moment. We're only focusing on Friday. But what about you? Have you got any plans now? Like, is there a world title uh, fight gonna come? I don't know. That's what that's what Kali, Kala or Nessa said. Kala, sorry, yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll go back. We'll go back to the gym. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what my team do. So whatever comes next, you ready? I love that. Listen, I know you hate the interview a bit after it. You're tired. I'm so sorry. But listen, thank you so much for still giving us your time. We do really appreciate it. Thank you. Ta. Here we go!